Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make applications for the iPhone um, or iPod Touch. It's very simple. First thing you're going to do, um, you need to have the iPhone SDK so you download from Apple. It's completely free to download the program. So um, you're going to go to app, um, developer.apple.com or something like that. I provided my description. So now when you've done that, um, it's going to take a while. It's two gigabytes. So. When you download that, you're gonna um, go to your Macintosh HD. You need to install it first. Then you're gonna have it in your um, Macintosh HD. So you're gonna go to Developer and Applications. So the main one that we're gonna use is Xcode. It's very simple. So now when you're there, you're gonna use um, create your first application so click don't click now on it just just go to um, I mean Xcode file new project so now you're gonna choose which application are you gonna make so you're gonna navigation based application um, desert utility view tab or application whatever you want so I'm just gonna try um tab or application very simple. Choose choose your name. Let's see. Um, we're gonna name it. Um, let's just try. Um, um, fake recovery mode. Fake recovery mode. Just a test. I can show you how to add pictures too. So you're gonna save it, and then um, you're gonna go there. Um, you have the classes, other sources, resources, frameworks, and products. So you're gonna go into your main, your main mode. So you're gonna go to here, where you say main window. So you open up. It's gonna be open interface builder. So once you're there, here's the the main view that you're gonna have in your iPod Touch. So it's real simple. You have your library. You have your um, this is named the uh, inspector, um, the main window. So the main thing you're gonna use is the library so now you're gonna add, you, if you want to add the um, navigation bar in the top of your page of, of your app just drag it into there and then you can put the the name that you want so like very mode I mean so like that you see how it looks now and then you can have text um, Let's see, um, test, um, hold on, it's kind of, it's kind of slow, so you, here you type a little stuff, and you can type, just welcome, just a test, so now you can add, um, a navigation item, whatever you want, here you have the spotlights, if you want to name this, you can name it like home and this one you can name it um, search so there you go and this thing when you drag something over here looks you see I cannot move it so to make that you can move the, the item so you are gonna drag the view so you drag it in here there you go and then you drag this the search bar the top of your pages okay see if, um, hold on, let's there you go so when you once you're there if you want to add the what you want to put in there you can put in here um, search it's gonna gonna look like that anyway you can delete that anyway uh, you can put in there you can put the style if you want a black like that so we'll just put a black stop in there. Um, you can put a cancel button and bookmarks, whatever you want. Just a test. Um, I mean, you have that. Um, if you want to add a picture to here, it's real simple. Um, I know that some guys of you wants to learn that, but it's a kind of uh, for me. I mean, the first time it, you're trying to drag the pictures, it's not the way that you like that. So you drag here, image view. So, just that. And then, 
you go to your library, whatever you want, you can go to Safari. Just a picture. Um, touch. If you have any wear picture, I don't have any pictures in here, so. I have some, I don't know where I am, so. I think I have some pictures in here. Yeah. Um. You can put um, this picture. So you drag into your desktop. You have it in your desktop. So you're gonna go here, and then the picture that you have, you're gonna drag it to the main um, files. So put in there, drag it, click add. So they, there you have the picture. You see, there's the picture. So now um, you're gonna go to again to um, interface builder. Um, now uh, when you when you have the picture in here, you're gonna go to tools, inspector, open up inspector, and here's gonna you need to click on the um, image view. So you're gonna go here and then type here photo 15. So these are kind of small. This one, this too big. I mean, but nine. So you can open up. You see. If you want a small picture, anyway, uh, real easy. Um, that's it. Um, now you go here, click save, save it, and then simulate interface. So it's gonna open the iPhone simulator. That's gonna. That's how it's gonna look in your um in your iPod in your iPhone. You see the search tab, you can search whatever you want there. But that's how it's gonna look. So if you wanna make like, let me show you the fake recovery mode I was gonna show you. First thing, uh, you need, you can have all this stuff here. So, you close interface builder, and then you go new project. <clears throat> and then you're gonna view based application, fake recovery mode. Just a test. So what? Uh, I mean, I think I have to. Let me see. Let's see. There you go. Yes, how do it's gonna look? So you need to name your application that that I already rename it. So now you have that. Um, the same thing. You're gonna go to main window, side B, open up, um, let me see where do I have the fake recovery mode, I think I have it, so let, let me try, you go, you can go to get to get the recovery mode, the fake recovery mode, type recovery mode, type it in there, you go to Google images, you can do that whatever you want. So me, you choose the best picture you can see. You see that one's how it's gonna look. There you go. And then you have it in your desktop. Now then, the same thing. Drag the view because it's not gonna work at all. So drag the main view. Let me see where is it. View here. So you type, put in there. Back again. And then, um, same thing, drag the picture, original recovery mode to the files, oops, so there you go, add, then put this in here, um, there you go, um, you go here, picture, go for, look for picture, image view, so put in full screen, and, um, you're gonna have um, what else? Uh, picture, yeah. So you go here, image. Oh, yeah, image. Original recovery mode, PNG. So there you go. You have the full picture image view. So now um, you're gonna, if you don't wanna see the bar over here, the status bar, you go um, tap the status bar. Status bar, known. That's gonna, how it's gonna look. So, save it, and then you're gonna go similar interface. 
Oops. Something wrong here. Ah, I think I have to. To. Oh, yeah. I need to save. You have to save it on Xcode. So, once you're there, you're gonna go. Blue didn't go. So, no advertisement here. Let's see. Do you see? Now it's working. Uh, this bar over here is status bar. I don't know why. Um, it's always up here in the simulator. It is not gonna, I think it's not gonna appear in the iPhone. So anyway, uh, because I already put that, I don't want to see it. So it's really easy. That's the way you make apps. Um, whatever you want. Um, if you need some questions, just ask me. I will help you. Okay. Thanks for watching.